Somalia has officially become a full member of the East African community after the country deposited its so-called ratification instrument of the, of the Treaty of Accession on Monday. The country now becomes the eighth member of the community. Moses Javierimana reports. Somalia is now the eighth country to join the East African community after the Democratic Republic of Congo joined the bloc in April 2022. Despite Somalia having applied to join the community back in 2012, security in the country has been a major challenge and a factor that has hindered its admittance into the community. Dr. Peter Matuki is the Secretary General of the East African community. And therefore, depositing the instruments with the Secretary General is the beginning of our work. And we are aware that you are key priorities. One of them was fighting al-Shabaab, which we realize is part of a security issue, and you are working on it to ensure that Somalia becomes secure, and we want to wish you well. With its official entry into the bloc, Somalia is now committed to harmonizing and ratifying the East African Community Law and the treaty which includes adherence to the universally acceptable principles of good governance, democracy, the rule of law, observance of human rights and social justice. Dr. Abdusalam Omer is a presidential special envoy of Somalia to the East African community. This is a very big day for Somalia. I think equally it's a big day for the East Africa community. We are part of a big family that brings us for economic prosperity, security. We have waited this moment for a long time and it has come under the leadership of Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, and I was proud to be part of it. We will exchange information on security. A verification mission was launched by ESC on January 25th last year to assess the readiness of Somalia to join the regional body. The verification team's report was later adopted by the ESC Heads of State Summit in Bujumbura on June 6, 2023. Dr. Fred Mukasambide is a regional specialist and the vice president of Democratic Party, an opposition party in Uganda. The deposit of documents by Somalia definitely to the East African community is, a, is both boon and ban. Somalia is itself a conflict and insecurity laden with its attendant territorial enigma, particularly over Somaliland. So we would say the challenge is not with the standing, we must welcome Somalia to the extent that then the East African community integration process is now mature enough to make sure we can deal with the problems as they arise. Despite the security challenges in Somalia, analysts say that the transborder trade will increase significantly in the region as the community becomes a market of more than 300 million people and a gross domestic product of over 300 billion US dollars. Moses Aviarimana for VOA Africa. A government expert says Somalia is said to experience an economic boost after officially becoming a full member of the East African community. Javas Bigambo also says the regional bloc could be a platform where regional leaders can help resolve the ongoing maritime dispute between Somalia and its neighbor Kenya. His remarks come after Somalia became an official member of the East African community. For more analysis and prospects of Somalia's membership, VOA's Peter Klote reached Javas Bigambo. It is welcome relief with regard to the expansion of the community by an additional member state. However, there are other critical issues that come to mind. Kenya has had a border dispute issue at the International Court of Justice with Somalia. It means then that because these two countries now belong to the same community, the fraternal relations that they share means then that they must be agreeable to find alternative means of adjudicating the maritime dispute other than having it adjudicated by the International Court of Justice. And so it means then that Somalia will have to withdraw its case from ICJ in good conscience as a matter of appreciating the brotherly ties that Somalia now shares with Kenya, given that they are within the East African community. So you think the East Africa community as a regional bloc will be a perfect, so to speak, platform that will have the regional leaders to try to resolve possible tensions or the dispute, maritime dispute between Kenya and Somalia? Given that Somalia uh, has now been admitted, it therefore means that there must be alternative mechanisms of resolving 
the disputes or whatever challenges that are there because once they are within the same community, it will be in bad taste if the manner of approaches and the challenges that have been there between Kenya and Somalia will continue on that same trajectory. So I think whether it is within the community or bilaterally just between Kenya and Somalia, there must be a better way, a smoother way, a more fraternal way of resolving any kind of disputes or conflicts, uh, even those that are presently existing. Concerns have been raised about security challenges that Somalia routinely uh, face. Um, Do you think by becoming a full member of the EAC, regional leaders could help with some of these security challenges and help resolve it? The issue is that the security challenges faced in Somalia may not dissipate merely by it being admitted to the East African community, but appreciating the manner in which, for example, the entire community has been concerned about the security situation in member states. For instance, how the East African community considered and still helps to intervene with the security situation in the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, and even how the community was concerned about the political situation, for example, in Burundi, and how the East African community has been encouraging peaceful resolution diplomatically of the relations between uh, DRC and Rwanda, and even how Rwanda itself has been uh, very cordial in the manner in which it's been handling its own challenges with the DRC. It therefore means that the East African community will be hard-pressed, and because of the spirit of the community, to come together and consider how the challenges, the security challenges facing Somalia can be intervened with the help of the community's leadership. So yes, the East African community will consider uh, how to intervene and or help in Somalia resolve its security challenges. Heavily armed gangs try to seize control of Haiti's main international airports on Manji, exchanging gunfire with police and soldiers in the latest attack on key government sites in an explosion of violence that includes a mass escape from the country's two biggest prisons. The Saint Roventure International Airport was closed when the attack occurred, with no planes operating and no passengers on site. Associated Press journalists saw an armored truck on the tarmac shooting at gangs to try and prevent them from entering airport grounds as scores of employees and other workers fled from wheezing bullets. It is the biggest attack on the airport in Haiti's history last week. The airport was struck briefly by bullets amid ongoing gang attacks, but gangs did not enter the airport nor seize control of it. The attack occurred just hours after authorities in Haiti ordered a night time curfew following violence in which armed gang members overrun the two biggest prisons and fleed thousands of inmates over the weekend. A 72-hour state of emergency began Sunday night. The government said it would try to track down the escaped inmates, including from a potentially from a penitentiary where the vast majority were in a pre-trial detention, with some accused of slayings, kidnappings, and other crimes. Gangs already were estimated to control up to 80% of Port-au-Prince, the capital. They are increasingly coordinating their actions and and choosing ones unthinkable targets like the central bank. Prime Minister Adiel Henry traveled to Kenya last week to try to salvage support for the United Nations backed security force to help stabilize Haiti in its conflict with increasingly powerful crime groups. Haiti's national police has roughly 9,000 officers to provide security for more than 11 million people. According to the UN, they are routinely overwhelmed and outgunned. The deadly weekend marked a new law in Haiti's downward spiral of violence. At least nine people had been killed since Thursday. Four of them police officers as gangs stepped up coordinated attacks on state institutions, 